Hey guys, Adrian here from the Digital Dojos at digitaldojos.com and I know it's been a while since I've done a lot of tutorial based stuff and I wanted to kind of uh, go back into the Windows and talk a little bit about some software today we're going to be talking about Launchy but I know it's been a while since I touched about on the Windows topics I've done a lot of Mac content and the only reason being is I've done so much content in the past I've done over 800 or you know 700 plus videos and after a while you, you kind of hit a lot of topics that you've talked about in the past with Windows specifically on my main channel uh, but with that, I am looking to be making some big changes to Digital Dojos, uh, specifically with the content I create. So I'm hoping to go back and recreate some of the videos, talk about a lot of applications I use in the past and I, I really find helpful, and just to hopefully help new people and update some of my guides, tutorials, etc. So today I want to talk about software overview of an application called Launchy. Launchy is a cross-platform application launcher or keystroke launcher for Windows, Mac, and Linux. Um, specifically, it's my favorite on Windows. There's a lot of ones on Mac and uh, Linux, but I know for sure Windows, it was the one I used in the past, and I don't use Windows so much anymore. In this case, I'm on a virtual machine on my Mac, but I did want to show it to you because, again, it's one of my favorites out there, and if you're any Windows users and you've never used an application launcher, go out and try it out. It, re it really does increase productivity in terms of searching files, navigating, accessing stuff that much more quicker. So you can download it here at launchy.net. It's an open source project. And if you really do enjoy it, what's really cool about the developers, again, they make it cross-platform. They make it for free. You can download it for whatever operating system. And if you want, you can pay for it whatever price you think it's worth. You can pay $3. You can pay $100. You know, they they give you the option to donate and pay for what you think it's worth. You don't have to pay, but, you know, it goes a long way to help out the developers. They're giving you a great piece of software in return and you know they're, they're doing it on their own time and they're not you know, obviously outside of donations they're not going to get paid for it um so launch it okay so with that before i get into some other stuff of the of the program let's go ahead and launch it so hitting alt space that's your default um hot key to open up launch here and you can see here's the interface for launch now if i want to search a file if i want to open an application so let's say i want to open google chrome i can simply type it in Enter, and then Google Chrome opens right away that fast. I don't have to navigate to the start menu. I don't need to have icons on my desktop if I didn't want to. I can navigate quick and easy. The same thing goes for um, files. If I want to look up files, if I want to look up folders, I can do all of that. But also, quick utilities are built in with these plugins. So I can do like 8 times 8. I can see 64 is my answer. So I don't have to open up calculator. I can do it right from here. I can do 100, you know, 1,000, blah, 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 plus some random numbers here. And it gives me the total right away using that built-in calculator plugin. So you can see how fast and efficient it really is. And again, it has tons of uh, options you can use it with. So it sits also in your taskbar at the bottom here. Uh, you can see it there if you want to open it, but also you can click on the cog right here to get to the settings. Now in the general tab, you have a whole bunch of stuff with user interface. You can change the way the program you know, reacts. You can change the hotkey you want to use to open it. You can change the visual effects, a whole bunch of stuff all under, under the general tab, change system options, etc. Under skins, you can change the look of the skins here. So it comes with some default skins. And you can change them easily. Now you can see here, I have a, a skin that I've added and you can add skins from the uh, catalog on their website. So the community is a huge uh, community behind launching. If you go into skins here, you can see a whole bunch of skins that the community have made. Uh, they have their own gallery at DeviantArt. And I went over to DeviantArt and I picked up the placebo skin, which I really, really like here. Looks really nice and it fits awesomely with some other custom Windows 7 themes out there that you can check out. So I went ahead and I got this uh, skin specifically. Now when you download it, you get a zip file for most of these skins. And the way to install a skin on Launchy that's not already installed is simple. So what you need to do is you go into My Computer or your Windows Explorer. You want to navigate to your My Computer, go to your local disk, whatever your disk is that you installed Launchy. Go into Program Files. From there you find Launchy. And from Launchy, you're going to see the skins folder. So you go in the skins folder and then you simply drag that, unz you unzip the folder you got from the download and you drag the folder that the skin came in. The skin will have a whole bunch of files in it. You just want to grab that whole folder, drop it into the skins uh, portion. Again, here's a directory, drop it in, exit. You would have to relaunch Launchy and then you can click on the skin and hit OK. In this case, you get the new placebo launcher, which I really like. It doesn't have that settings thing, but if you, the settings cog, but you can easily go into options here by hitting control plus or just right clicking and going to options to change anything else. Catalog. Catalog allows you to add directories. So by default, it's going to add a whole bunch of directories. Mine are a little different here because I'm on a, again, a virtual machine, but directories are basically where Launchy is indexing. So where it's searching for files. So if you want Launchy, maybe you have multiple hard drives. And if you want to also search for data on the other hard drives, you can have it do that. Uh, in this example, on the virtual machine, it doesn't have my desktop. I can't see files on my desktop. So you can see here, even if I launch Launchy right now, I can, let me hit real quick, okay, I can even, I can type in digital dojos, 
and you can see right there, I don't even, I can't see the folder that's currently on my desktop. So I, I want to add my desktop to a, a catalog. So what I can do here is I'll hit plus, and then I'll hit this right here, and this little button, this will say browse for folder. So you can choose any folder, any drive, any whatever to add to the uh, category or catalog. So I'm going to go ahead and add the directory of my desktop there. So you can see there it automatically puts it. And then I want to add file types. So what file types can it allow? And, and in this case, you always want to, if you want to search all file types, you want to use asterisk dot asterisk, which is a universal thing for any file type um, can be, you know, indexed. Any file type will be allowed. So in other cases, you know, it's looking for like dot ink files, but if you want it to be universal, uh, asterisk, asterisk dot asterisk will give you a uh, file. It'll look for any file type, essentially. So I'll say include executables and include directories. I'll hit OK, or I can hit rescan catalog, and I'll hit OK. And you can see there the index items went up. So now when I go back to launch, you can see it picks up the folder right here, Digital Dojos. And alternatively, if I type in test123, it also sees that text document that I had there. And I can enter that and it'll open up the text document, which has nothing in it. But again, that's how easy it is to add directories. So if, if Launchy isn't navigating to something that you want it to, if it's not picking up something that you want it to, you can easily add it in. Again, if you have multiple hard drives, if you have multiple directories that aren't being you know uh, added by default, you can easily do that. You can check out the plugins here. They have a cool plugins for like GCalc, Runner, uh, Verbi. So you can have programs run. You can type in stuff like, for example, in this case, you can type in CMD and then I'll run the command line prompt. So we'll type in CMD here and you'll see there, it just simply runs command line. Again, quick access, access to applications. You can have quick access to websites. You can have quick mm -hmm. access to, um, you know, shortcut, a shortcut website, I should say files, all of that really great application launcher. Check it out guys, it's cross-platform, but easily one of the best application launchers for Windows specifically. Launchy, I'll have a link in the download description below. The full article will probably also be written up over at digitaldojos.com. If you enjoyed this, check out the website, like the video, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.